All right, for this video, we're going to be looking at comparing the relative masses of electrons, protons, and neutrons. So we've seen in textbooks and on online resources a comparison chart of the subatomic particles. They will have the name proton, neutron, electrons. They'll have the symbols, so P for proton, N for neutron, E for electron. Uh, if we skip over, we have the charges, so proton is a plus one, the neutron is a zero, and the electron is a negative one. They'll usually tell us where they're located, so proton and neutron are both inside the nucleus, and the electron has some kind of an orbital habit outside the nucleus. Uh, this column right here uh, is relative mass, and most students seem a little bit confused by what this means. So I'm just going to show you a couple of ways of demonstrating the idea of relative mass. So the idea is that an electron has a very small mass compared with the neutron and the proton. In fact, the proton and neutron are almost identical. They're off by a very small amount. But the idea is if you had an electron that had a mass of 1, say 1 gram, then that would mean the equivalent mass for the proton and the neutron would be about 1,836. So one way of demonstrating it is by using a actual gram. So if you have your mass sets in your classroom, there is a small tiny mass that's a one gram. So if we were to say let's use that for the mass of an electron, then what that would mean is for a proton or a neutron, it would have to be equivalent to about 1836 grams. So if we take out our mass set, uh, this is 1000 grams plus 500, there's 1500. Another 200 makes it 1,700, another 100 makes it 1,800. Then we've got a 20, a 10, and a 5. That was the closest I could get. So that would make this 1,835 grams. Now, if we were to put them side by side for a better visual, so we're saying that the electron has a relative mass of 1 gram, then over on the right-hand side, all of these masses combined together would give the equivalent mass of the proton or the neutron. Now, if you don't have these mass sets, another idea might be using something like popcorn. So pretty cheap, easy to use. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, an electron is equivalent to one popcorn kernel. And then what I did was figure out the equivalent number of grams to get our 1,836 popcorn seeds or kernels. So this might be something interesting for the students to try to do. Um, you can get yourself some popcorn. They can figure out a way without actually counting 1,836. But if we were to show this, it definitely demonstrates the fact that the electron has a very small mass compared with that of the proton and the neutron.